Hi there, I'm Anya, a digital marketer at Zenpulse. In this video, we will talk about creating a website for free without any coding skills. If you need to quickly and efficiently show off your brand, company or your expertise, you need a website. We'll have a glimpse of what makes a good website and which blocks you should include in it to reach the maximum conversion. Let's get going! But before we dive in, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel, press the bell button to stay in the know about our new videos. At Zenpulse, we work with multiple websites and surely know what makes a good one. Yet, before starting to construct your website from scratch, you need to think your website through. There are three things you have to decide for yourself first. Define your goals. Brainstorm with your team. What do you want to tell the people? How should people use your site? What will you broadcast through your site? Who will be interested in your resource? Will your site be a transition tool to social networks or other resources? Once you have the answers, you will know what kind of site your company needs. You will also know the purpose of your resource. For example, to attract subscribers, inform them about a new store, showcase or sell a product. Next, select the target audience. You need to accurately describe the target audience segment and outline how your site will solve the customer's demand. Also, never forget to study your competitors. Before starting work, you need to study and analyze the competitive market. Study their websites and social networks, read reviews and evaluate your reputation on the web. The collected information will help your company to come up with a unique offer and find the strengths that will distinguish you in the market. Then, you need to decide on the system in which the site will be created through. A builder, CMS, assembled through a public domain or code the website yourself. Sandpulse offers an effortless way to build your website with zero coding skills. Free, quick and effortless. Finally, we are arriving at the hot point of our video, the website structure. So, while building your website, be sure to pay attention to First screen. This is the first part of your website the visitor will see. Use this space to the fullest. The purpose of the first screen is to encourage the user to explore the site or take action. Banners there may contain a button with a call to action, like leaving contact information, filling out a form, asking a question or receiving a gift. Stick to this structure of the first block. Your company logo, company name, offer, feedback form or CDA. The next big thing to have is menu. The purpose of the menu is to provide convenient and user-friendly navigation through the blocks of the site. Let the user navigate through your resource using a comfy user menu. Make sure you include the following menu blocks. Description, reviews, information about the company, contact details, promotions, link to social networks, and contacts. Let's take a closer look at some of these blocks. Block description. The goal is to describe the purpose of your project. For example, Talk about the company or where and when the event will take place. The structure of the description block. Project characteristics. Tell why users should take advantage of your offer, sign up for a webinar or save your contact details. Block benefits. In this block, show the user your company's main values and why users should trust you. Block reviews. The goal is another indicator of trust in the company. Through reviews, new users can judge the quality of the project and customer service and whether the buyer like the product. Block how to get started. The goal is to give the user instructions on working with a company. It can be an interaction pass with a brand or a list of pricing plans for different business tasks. Block contacts. The goal is the contact information that helps the user contact the company or support team and get directions on the map. CTA buttons. Proper CTAs help the user understand what action they should take on the site. Buttons should consist of a clear word or phrase. For example, leave an application, I want to sign up, join our community or leave your feedback. 
As for feedback, it also needs a separate block on your website. Remember, feedback is crucial, but your visitors are busy. Make the feedback block easy and quick to fill out. There are three rules from SandPulse. No more than three fields to fill in – name, phone number, email. Ideally, a form opened in the browser should automatically pull hints about the input data. Make questions as simple as possible so that the user doesn't think about the answer. So, in this video we broke down the golden rules of creating a website that converts. You can now create a website yourself using the SendPulse service. Create your website on the SendPulse Builder and let us know what you think. See you in the next video!